Joseph is never the coveted role in the Sunday School Christmas program. He seems always to stand silently to the side, holding his staff, while Mary and the baby take center stage. Yet, Matthew's Gospel places Joseph center stage in the Nativity, establishing through Joseph the child's place in David's royal line. The Gospel describes Joseph as a righteous man, which is to say a man devoted to God and concerned with right living. As Matthew tells the story, this God-fearing carpenter wakes up one morning to find that his world has been shattered. His fiance, Mary, is pregnant. He knows he is not the father, and suddenly Joseph has no good options. He resolves to do the right thing and the kind thing, he does not want to publicly humiliate Mary or put her in danger, so he resolves to divorce her quietly. This would fulfill the requirement of the law. Joseph is about to do just that when an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, telling him what seemed impossible. The child Mary is carrying is from the Holy Spirit. Joseph is to take Mary as his wife and give the child a home, a family, a name. Joseph awoke from this dream and decided he would listen to the message from God he heard in the angel's voice. Joseph could have decided to ignore the message and try to get back to his more predictable, orderly life. But instead, Joseph looks at the whole mess and decides to trust that God is present and at work, here, in this, through him. Joseph had been working from a very different version of what his life should look like and what God would expect from him. But with the angel's voice still whispering in his ear, Joseph decides to lean into the new thing that God is doing and to take his part in it. For so many of us, life looks very different from what we had planned or expected. We can try to hold on to our version of what life should be like, or like our brother Joseph, we can enter into God's dream. We can choose to believe that here, now, in the mess and in the aching, God is present and at work, loving us, and giving new life to us and to the world through Jesus. The first words that the angel speaks to Joseph are words we need to hear too. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, even though life looks and feels different than you thought it might. Even if you are being asked to take up something you did not imagine God would lead you to, God is here with you, with us, in the challenge, in the mess, in the unexpected. God is born for us and through us in the life-giving gift of Jesus, who is Emmanuel, God with us.